Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your old pal CHH. We're back here again today. I want to say really quick, this is not an ad, don't worry. Uh, I started this little side fun channel called Radio CHH. Now, what Radio CHH is, is me doing high-quality high vinyl rips of songs from 80s movies, horror movies, action films. Um, I'll leave a link down below if you're into that, because I'm trying to pick songs that I have on records that maybe aren't even on Spotify or iTunes yet. I don't know. I know I'm going to do some stuff from Return of the Living Dead 2 soon. Um, go to that channel if you're into that, and they're kind of relaxing. You put the videos on. I just did Darkest Side of the Night from Jason Takes Manhattan off of the Waxwork score. I did a vinyl rip of that, and the video just shows the record spinning with the big artwork from the uh, vinyl itself and it's nice it's very aesthetically pleasing and relaxing and they sound great uh, these vinyl i got a nice audio technical player so i'm having just a ball and a biscuit with that but that's going to be a fun side thing that's not going to take over i don't make any money from that because i don't own those songs but i'm putting up songs that maybe are going to be hard to find uh, but go to those videos, drop a comment, subscribe if you want, and tell me what song you'd want to do. Obviously, I'm giving patrons first dib, first dibs on picking songs for me to do. I think I've got a couple i got to queue up today, but go check that out if you're into that, guys. I'm having fun with that, and I've got a lot of records, so odds are I'll probably have a lot of the recommendations you guys have. But I want to do a video talking about Scream Factory. I want to do a video talking about... Uh, out of print titles, my history, some of these titles, and the different kinds of out of print, because there's different kinds of out of print. Uh, so let's get started. Let's talk about one form of out of print. You're getting into this, Return of Living Dead. Keep this into consideration, guys. This is an out of print title, but it's out of print on Blu ray. And I just want people to know you don't have to go and spend the money to get this if you don't want to. The 4K comes with the Blu ray. I still get people that'll ask me about that, and I always say, Go get those 4Ks. If you have a title you want that's out of print, like Return of Living Dead, the greatest horror film ever made, in my opinion. It's maybe not ever. It's my favorite. You can get that 4K. It's going to come with the Blu-ray, and it's going to come with all the special features. And the special features are on the Blu-ray discs. That's the kicker, I think, for people. So this is one form of out of print, where titles are... People are paying a lot of money for them, and then the 4K happens, and... You're kind of hosed out a little bit. And I've been hosed out. We're going to talk about that. I'll talk. I'll tell you where I made a pretty good investment and where I got hosed out. But this, there are examples of movies that are out of print that either Scream Factory reissued on 4K or another label got. And I have some of those too. So Return Living Dead is an example of one of those titles that is out of print from Scream Factory, but it got in print again from them on a new format. But if you're a Blu-ray person, that 4K is still the way to go. So don't go out and spend a lot of money on this. Go get the 4K. Because you're going to get the movie on Blu-ray, and you're going to get special features, and they're going to look better. Now, here's a title that I actually would say to people, I don't think it's a bad idea to go out and try to get this release. But keep in mind, you know, Screen Factory could pull some kind of trickery. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about those limited to 1,500 releases. Here's Twice Dead. Why? This was a title people were excited for. Why they only did 1,500? Nobody knows. And like I can, this is a title. I don't know how available it is from overseas. So this would be a title that I would say, I can understand trying to go out of your way to get that. Try to find a decent price for it. Try to find a deal for it. Don't go crazy with it. But this is one of those examples of a movie that's kind of hard to get. So I would say, I'm not going to stop you if you want to go get Twice Dead on Blu-ray. Just try to get a good deal on it. You know what I mean? Uh, and when they have those 1500 sales, guys, honestly, just don't think twice. I, I hate the FOMO. I get it. But guess what? It's a man's world. Here's an example of me getting hosed out. And I'm no better than anybody else, right? I want movies just like you. Sometimes I'm impatient. We're impatient people. That's the society and where we live in. We want things now because that's the way we're used to it. I'm not judging. I'm really not. Here's an example of me getting hosed out. I spent forty nine ninety nine on The Incredible Melting Man, and literally three weeks later, Kino Lorber announced it. Now, I'm not sure what to do. I kept the shrink wrap on. I've seen the movie. I love the movie. But I'm not sure what to do. Do I try to sell this shrink wrapped? Is it worth more that way? Or do I just say, screw it, you bought it, enjoy it, you don't need the Kino version? I'm not going to buy it again, that's for sure. But this is the risk we take sometimes. We get these movies, and sometimes we get hosed out because we don't know when these titles are going to get announced that's the thing that sucks about this is the fans don't know 
So sometimes you take a risk and sometimes it doesn't pay off. If I would have waited three more weeks, I would have been able to know, okay, it's coming out from Kino. All is over. It's fine. Just hold off for a little bit. I got hosed out. Here's another title that I bring this title up for the one time I want to say this, and I don't want to beat the audience over the head with this. A title like The Beast Within. This is a great movie. This is a great movie. I love The Beast Within. It's out of print from Scream Factory. There are multiple ways to get it overseas. I'm going to say this one time. The best thing you could do is go region free. It's not a status symbol. It's not. It's a way to save money. Example, right off the bat, Ghost Town. It's not in that Empire box set. I know you wish it was. I know I wish it was. It's not. Scream Factory's out of print with that. I got a region-free player. One of the first titles I grabbed was Ghost Town. I went to 88 Films, 15 bucks. They launched it overseas to me, had it within a week and a half. I bought that player. Take the money you would have spent on an out-of-print Ghost Town. Subtract that from the price of the player. Now do that for more titles down the road. Your player pays for itself. This is an example of a movie that's out of print in America, but you've got vast opportunities overseas. Get the player. Now here's an example of a title that's out of print from Scream Factory, but other licenses are picking it up. That's a title like The Vagrant from Scream Factory. That This was a really fun, early 90s fun horror film. Love this movie. There were a few people that wanted to grab this, and they were like, damn it, it's out of print from Scream Factory. I gotta go on eBay. And I was like, no, 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 you, you don't though. Arrow got it. They put out The Vagrant on a 2K scan and with a slipcover. And I know people love those slipcovers. I'm not judging anymore. I used to kind of make, make fun of the people that are obsessed with slipcovers. You know what? I've got my quirks. Who am I to judge? I don't care. Do your thing. You know what I mean? Like, enjoy yourself. Get what you want. So, don't go out and buy this. Go to go to our video. You can get this with a slipcover and a new scan. Now, here are some titles from Scream Factory that are lore. These are legend titles that people are like, oh my god. We need this. And this is a really interesting situation. I know I have it. The Slumber Party 2 and 3 set. Now people are probably like, what the hell's going on with this? I, I, I hear you guys. Nobody really asked for Slumber Party Maskers on 4K. What they wanted was this. Nobody needed Slumber Party Masker on 4K. I got it. Granted, I like it. But I told people, you don't need this. I told people that. If you're a fan, go for it. People wanted this. I, I hate to speak for the audience, but I think you would agree. People wanted this. They didn't care about 4K in this instance. But the mystery is what's going on with Summer Party Massacre 3. And do I recommend going out and trying to pay for this? I don't. And that's because the prices are just too exorbitant at this point. Because the lore and legacy of this release is so high it's cost a fortune. I say just hold off. My money says somebody like MVD is going to put a release out for Summer Party Massacre 3 soon. That's my bet. But like I said, sometimes I place a bet, so I'm a melting man, and I get hosed out. But keep that in mind, guys. I just think if you could get lucky, grab this, but don't pay over 100 bucks for this thing. It's just don't do it. Another example of a double pack is the Troll and Troll 2 set. Now, I think a lot of people are more concerned with Troll than Troll 2, to be honest with you. I think there are ways to own these films, uh, even in America, quite frankly, but I just don't think they're good enough for people. Um, there may be those barebone MGM releases, but the thing that was great about this release, which I think was a big selling point, was this. Uh, Best Worst Movie, the documentary that came with this set. Again, if you're region-free... There's German releases, media books, I think, that have both movies and that documentary. And you can get that and save a lot of money than trying to pay for the out-of-print title of this. So when people tell me, hey, should I go for this? I say, you know what you really should do? Get that LG Region Free Player and go get that media book. And have a cooler looking release, quite frankly, and save some money. Here is an example of a title that I placed a bet on and I felt that I did okay. Back in 2020, I wanted the Garbage Pail Kids and saw that it was out-of-print. I made that bet. I paid, you ready for this? I paid $58 for this, guys. I, I know. I hear you. I, I already I hear you guys. But at the same time, I as more time goes on, I feel like that investment was worthwhile a little bit. Because guess what? 
This movie is still out of print. It's still out of print with no end in sight. Um, so even if it comes back in six, seven months, I feel like that money has decreased in the pain, if it, if you will, on the money I spent for it. This was a bet I placed, and I feel like I came out okay. There was rumors that Vinegar Syndrome was about to put it out, and that never came to fruition. Are they going to? Nobody knows. But sometimes you place a bet on an overpriced... Or, or, I did. It was overpriced, but I paid, obviously. But, but you place a bet on an out-of-print title, and sometimes you could argue it might pay off a little bit. These are probably going for even more money now. So just keep that in mind, guys. Sometimes you place your bets and you win. Here's an example of a title that's out of print from Scream Factory, but don't go buy it right now. Stop if you want to get dolls. The Empire of Scream's Arrow video box set coming out this summer not only has dolls, but has it a 2K scan, which is perfect. We don't need titles like this on 4K per se. Uh, we also don't need Slumber Party Mask on 4K, but we don't need titles like this per se. 2K scan Blu-rays are going to be absolutely thrilling for a movie like this. That Empire of Scream box set is going to be so worth the money. You could spend 65 70 bucks just on this or wait till June and get a box set that looks like a video store that has an individual case for this and it'll have this original art per usual, but you'll also get classics like Robot Jocks from Stuart Gordon. Um, you'll get Arena. You'll get uh, Cellar Dweller. I mean, Dungeon Master. Like, just hold on. So here's an example of an Iron Pinch Scream Factory title that you just need to wait a little bit longer. The, the, the light at the end of the tunnel is there. I know that this is a title you uh, the people love and they want. The light is at the end of the tunnel. Just hold on a little bit longer. And here's another out-of-print double pack. Those double packs, they come and they go. One of the most important ones was the Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2 double pack. There are options. I believe there's an umbrella set for 1 and 2 that's on Amazon. And it possibly is region-free. Because I think I have a few friends that weren't region-free yet but bought it and watched them. But there's also that Spanish release that's got 1, 2, and 3 that I have in the box set up there. And not only that, but guys, it looks really good and you get part 3. That I would recommend going on eBay and grabbing instead of this, to be honest with you. So there are options out there. This is not one right here that I would pay an exorbitant amount of money for. Because there are options out there. You can get that beautiful triple box set with 1, 2, and 3 that... You'll spend less money on it if you try to get this. Even if that one was limited, I still feel you'll spend less money on it than this. Find this for a deal if you can, but there are better options out there. Guys, that video was just talking about out-of-print Scream Factory titles. The different kinds of out-of-print, because there are different kinds, as you can see. There's out-of-print that has stuff from other labels. There's out-of-print that has 4K releases, and there's stuff that's out-of-print and still nowhere to be seen. Um... Always do your research, check with your friends, say, hey, this movie, is it available somewhere else? What do you know about this? Uh, when you do your searches on Amazon, don't type in Screen Factory Ghoulies Blu-ray. Type in Ghoulies Blu-ray and let's see what's what. You'll be surprised what's available that you may not know about. Generalize your searches. Generalize them. Don't be super specific with labels because I have found great stuff when I generalized my search for a movie and said, oh, I could get that Arrow video, but look at that beautiful, um, what you would call it, 88 Films version that's actually even prime. So somebody in America is selling it, I'll have it in two days. There are times where you'll be surprised at what you find. I do hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know your history. Did you ever pay for a title and get hosed out? I admitted to mine. Now admit to yours. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy hunting, and we'll see you guys next time. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.